What's going on guys? Heathen Tracy coming to you from North Carolina. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. We are celebrating our seventh year of living in North Carolina. So I can't too. believe it. It's nuts, right? I cannot Crazy. believe it. Crazy. Seven All my years. friends in Atlanta, all my Mays High crew, all my Howard crew. Um, yeah, it's nuts. We've been here for seven years now. Yep. And so uh, we thought that why well, we do a video that talks about pros and cons of living in North Carolina. Okay, we'll do that. We'll stick it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do it on YouTube as well. But we just wanted to come to you and just kind of talk about our last seven years here and how different it is from living in Atlanta. It's or D.C. Or D.C. We yeah. lived in D.C. for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But the pros and cons, if you're thinking about moving here. So a lot you, of people are. Yeah, a lot of people are thinking We're about moving. We're like on the top five list, top three Definitely. right now. It's, it's one of the better places to live. We live. To be exact, we live in Cary, North Carolina. In the Raleigh Durham area. Yep. RDU. RDU, RTP, the Triangle, um, <laughs> All of Raleigh, that. not Charlotte. <laughs> there is a difference. We're about it's two. It's only about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours north, north of Charlotte. North. North, northeast of Charlotte. We're closer to the coast. So sometimes our weather is um, warmer. Than Atlanta? It's I, different. It's, it's different. Sometimes it's, it's warmer. Similar patterns, but yeah, it is a little warmer. Yeah, yeah. it's a little bit warmer. Mm -hmm. The the skies here are beautiful. I, I swear, when they talk about North Carolina skies, they are not lying. It's gorgeous here. <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous. All the, uh, all the Tar Heels, they say, if God wasn't a Tar Heel, then why is the sky Carolina blue? <laughs> Uh, and there is a difference if you live in a Duke neighborhood. Yep, it's a different blue. <clears throat> or a Tar Heel neighborhood, Tar Heel neighborhood. Or a Wolfpack neighborhood. Or a Wolfpack neighborhood. Uh -huh. Well, we live in the neutral zone. Yep, we got the ECU crew. Yeah, but they're, they're kind of spread out. Some sprinkling of Wake Forest crew here and there. Yeah, but the UNC folk live in Chapel Hill. A&T and Central. Yep, the Dukies live in Durham. Mm -hmm. Wolfpack, they live in Raleigh. Mm -hmm. And it's evident. Uh, <laughs> It's very evident, and you do have to choose. <laughs> so if you don't choose, they really want to know why. <laughs> so that is what's weird yeah. about North Carolina. My period, my periodontist actually went to both schools, so it's kind of interesting to see which one, which one he identified with. Uh -huh. Some pros. Okay, you want to talk about the pros? Yeah, okay. let's go ahead and talk about pros the pros. Pros of living in North Carolina. Uh, weather is mild. Let's see, what are we talking about? We said lots of lots growth. Of, lots of growth. Lots right? of growth, yeah. So, so let's talk about that. So the the main reason that we're in North Carolina was, uh, you know, during the Great Recession, it was very difficult to uh, have some steady employment in Metro Atlanta to be able to uh, bring in the dollars that we were accustomed to bringing in. We were both in real estate. Uh, so we were uh, essentially 100% commission for six, seven years, right, in our But household. we were successful, so it was yeah. fine. So when the Great Recession hit, uh, we had some heart-to-heart -heart talking. And uh, long story short, we decided that the best opportunity that we had for employment was here. Yep. So we loaded up the loaded up the truck and moved to Raleigh. <laughs> So, yeah, lots of growth here. So, lots of growth here, lots of employment. Employment uh, and that is brings healthy, a, yeah. very healthy here. It's that brings a lot healthy. of people to the area. So, yep. that certainly is why it's one of the fastest growing areas in the country. The uh, biotechnology, uh, biopharmaceutical companies. Uh, pharma companies, uh, service companies, lots of uh, medical medical facilities. Um, so that's you know, it's it's a it's a it's a job hub uh, and a, definitely and so that uh, definitely a job gives hub. it a strong foothold. Um, housing is fairly priced. When you talk about moving from the northeast or moving from the west coast, it's mm -hmm. fair here. It's typical southern um, housing prices. You can you can get a house, a four bedroom house, for as little as. You know, two hundred and seventy, eighty thousand dollars, or as much as eight hundred thousand dollars. It just depends on what you want to spend, or more, or less. You or less. Find, you can um, it's going to be a little bit more than what we're used to in Atlanta. It's a little pricier than Atlanta. Little, not mm -hmm. much anymore, because Atlanta kind of went through a growth spurt there mm -hmm. recently. Mm -hmm. But a little bit more than Atlanta. Yeah. And uh, but, it's a lot less. <laughs> a lot less than California uh, and uh, New York. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you're in those big major metropolitan areas, you know, everybody knows that lives in those places that, uh, you know, it's a pretty penny. So people make it work. They, they make it work for what they need to do. Yeah. Another yeah. Um, good thing is the schools. The schools are, they're, they're pretty good schools. Mm -hmm. We've been somewhat pleased with the schools here. They do it a little differently, but um, our kids have thrived here. School is not as um, easy 
I should say. It's, it's hard. They have traditional and then they have year round. Mm -hmm. So you got to live in the right area. And then all of the schools are overcrowded for the most part. Yeah, magnet schools. Yeah, they have magnet schools that are all in the urban areas or the areas that need more attention. So um, it's it's a little different. And then you have to, you have to, that the post secondary education, there are a lot of choices mm -hmm. here. You have well, a lot of choices that. between the regular schools. And HBCUs. You've mm -hmm. got Central, you've got a and you got Winston-Salem mm -hmm. State, St. Augustine, Shaw, then you've got Meredith, North Carolina State, UNC. Hi, hey, how, how you doing? doing? Uh, good. You've got um, UNC, you've got Duke, you've just got a plethora of um, colleges here, which makes it cool because there are a lot of younger people here. Right. So right. if there are a lot of younger people here, then, you know, the growth, and it's kind of a cool place to live. Yeah, and that's a triangle, right? So it's uh, Chapel Hill. Yep. Raleigh and Durham, right? So Durham is uh, Duke, Raleigh is North Carolina State, and Chapel Hill is University of North Carolina. Right. So it gives the uh, companies a good foundation of, of an educated workforce. And so uh, there's a lot of research, and that has spawned over the years uh, a lot of the um, high-tech companies that are here, which is how we end up here. And then we live in the middle of the triangle. We mm -hmm. live in what's called Cary, North Carolina. So you've got, I can get to all those places in like, what, 15, 20 minutes stops. Yeah, yeah. So that's what makes it cool, too. Yeah, yeah. That's, so, mm -hmm. cons. We're on cons already? <laughs> you know I want to talk, talk about, about cons. About, okay, wait. Let's, so let's finish talking about the uh, pros. So, uh, so go ahead. All right, so the last, the last thing I'll say about uh, pros um, is uh, location. Right, so oh, yeah, in terms yeah. of uh, a, where a, where a, we are in yep. relation to the beaches and the mountains. So when we were doing our research, that was one of the things that we heard so much about was, yo, that's so close to the beach and the mountains, right? So from here, where we are, it takes about two and a half hours to get to uh, Wrightsville Beach and some of the other beaches there. Not uh, it's a little further to get to the Outer Banks because you have to kind of go across a lot of the Berry Islands about and that kind of hours. thing. No, it's about four, four and a half. Okay. Yeah. But uh, so, you know, you get out there at Kitty Hawk where they uh, started flying airplanes. And uh, out there is uh, a very beautiful uh, Untouched, across those marsh, yeah, marshlands really nice. and uh, unspoiled areas out there. Our favorites are mountains, though. And uh, our favorite times that we've had here uh, have been in the mountains. Yeah. So we spent time uh, way up in Andrews, but uh, closer, about three-hour drive from Asheville. here is Asheville. Yeah. So some of our some of my friends in Atlanta, I think, have spent time in Asheville. Well, if you haven't been to Asheville, Asheville is dope. Asheville mm -hmm. is probably one of the coolest cities I've ever been in. Yeah, yeah. It's tucked in the mountains, and of course, you know, a bunch of rich people established mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But the views are incredible. Mm -hmm. The scenery is incredible. It's lots of music. Lots. It's a music town. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's just a really cool vibe there, and even my kids love it. The Biltmore State is absolutely fabulous. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. just all around. It's a great place to spend some time if you just want to hang yep. out. Grove Park Inn is beautiful. And, and, and teenagers and young people will enjoy it, too. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Grove Park Inn is dope, and there's um, great uh, opportunities for beautiful pictures with the scenery. Yeah, yeah. really, really nice, Asheville. So Can we get to the cons? Location is cool, and then the last thing I wanted to say was um, the tradition of the college uh, basketball. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. if you're into basketball, if a lot of people, a lot of people are into basketball. It's almost yeah. Martin Madness time, right? Yeah, I guess. A lot of people are into basketball, so, you know, Tobacco Road, the battles of Duke and North Carolina is like nine miles apart from the schools. North Carolina State, you know, they're good um, every now and then. And um, so basketball is certainly prevalent in this area. Yeah. So. The college sports, you know, along with it. There's some, some pretty good football. The football programs are coming up as well. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to say that before we got into the cons. Cons! You're going to speak on the cons, baby? I'm going to speak <laughs> on the cons. I'm going to speak on the well, cons. Well, speak to the people, baby. They, they want to hear what you got to say about it's the boring. cons. It's boring. It's boring. Can I say it again? Well, so I'm if, so bored. If you've lived I'm in so Atlanta, if me. you've lived in Come New York, me. if you've lived in DC, you can stay here. <laughs> we have extra bedrooms. Yes, bring your kids, bring your mama, some, bring your dog. Some of our fam I don't care. family members have been here. We've had a few of our friends here, right? Please uh, come. But yeah, it's uh, uh, you know if you've lived in some of the major metropolitan areas in, my, in our country or in different parts of the world. It is a little, it certainly is a bedroom community, 
right? And so uh, uh, not a whole Ooh, lot is happening. Is that what it is? A bedroom It's a bedroom community, community baby. Yes. It's an uh, <laughs> It's so boring. Let me tell you something. I went to a, a work happy hour, and there's this guy that was there that I work with. And he has lived here for 15 years. And he said he couldn't wait till his kids graduated from high school so he could get the heck out of here. He was so bored. And I was shocked because I thought uh, I was the only one that felt that way. Uh, well, I'm not, guys. Mm -hmm. It's boring. It's official. Okay. You buy a house here, you don't have any mineral rights and you don't have any air rights. Yeah, yeah. I just think that's weird. So I lived in Florida and and in um, Atlanta. In we would have lived in Atlanta. You lived in Florida. Right. It's just weird. You yeah. don't you don't own anything but the house. Yeah. So that's a kind of a real estate thing. So from because we were both in real estate before, that was something that kind of jumped out at us. So in Georgia, if you buy property. You own the property down to the Earth's core and, and to, infinity. to infinity with respect to air rights, right? Yep. And uh, North Carolina is not like that. Mm -hmm. and that's so, why they have fracking issues. Yeah, yeah. And so that's certainly been um, uh, a big topic of discussion yeah. around the fracking because people can be way over there and go underneath the ground yep. and then go sideways. And get the, the oil and the mineral, whatever, that's under your house. They can take, and it's legal. And it's legal. Yeah, so. So that's a little weird. Yeah, the other weird. thing is... Um, there's no control on growth here at all. No, well, they, no, they no. have they have town they have town meetings, but certainly you can see by the yeah con, they already the decided to build approaches. fifty million houses next to you. <laughs> they were already in the books and not build another school. <laughs> I read an article recently that um, said that we are in need of forty five schools 45 right now. In our was it just in our county? Just in our county, Wake uh, County. And if you drive down the street, the main the main drag that we live <laughs> off of. There are approximately seven new neighborhoods. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I ain't talking seven new little townhouse neighborhoods. I'm talking <laughs> sprawl. All the trees gone. Mm -hmm. Way, way higher. Taxes, Taxes are, higher. are way higher. Yep. So that's something to keep in mind if you think about moving here. Mm -hmm. So the culture here, mm -hmm. are you ready, guys? You ready for what's the culture here? It's barbecue. <laughs> And basketball. <laughs> barbecue and basketball. The BBs. The BBs. Barbecue the BBs. and basketball. There's kids. There's a kid playing basketball somewhere right now. Mm -hmm. Right, I can hear him bouncing the ball. Yeah. And everybody has a basketball court. There's a. There's always a basketball game going. They they have whole centers of just basketball. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that's different here, I thought was different. I think it's because of all the migration from the Northeast. Is hockey. Mm -hmm. Hockey is big here. Yep, it is. So that gives you an idea too. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Um, let's see what else. Do you have any other cons to talk yeah, about? Yeah, I got love? lots of cons. <laughs> I got lots of cons. In our home that we've been in for seven years. Yep, been here seven years. I can't believe it's been seven years. <laughs> so the restaurant scene, we got all the chain restaurants. We got all of them. Mm -hmm. all, all of them. them. You name it, we probably have it. Right. So that's a con to me. The, mm -hmm. the best place for the really cool independent restaurants are going to be downtown Durham or downtown Raleigh. Yeah. So that's the only place we'd go. Yeah, that. there's some eclectic things that are popping up. You know, a couple of chefs that are doing some cool things. But, you know, if you've ever lived in Atlanta or New York or L.A. or some places like that, I mean, the food choices are yeah. just not comparable. And we go to the same little independent restaurants. Oh, they know our names. Yeah. They know our drinks. But we try to stay in our little bubble, too. So we, we don't venture out as much as we could. But it'd be nice if we had more stuff yeah. around here. We yeah. would do more. Mm -hmm. um, there's one five-star hotel mm -hmm. in North Carolina. So if you're a baller, <laughs> baller, there's one place you can stay, and it's called the Umstead. Umstead. Absolutely gorgeous property. Umstead so is dope. Umstead is that's dope. That's one of our favorite places when we have extra dust. A little sidebar. We stay here. I think we're going to leave. But we've been here for seven years. I'm not going to stay here. <laughs> So we're trying to we're trying to stay here we're at least until the baby boy busy. finishes high school. This three more years. He has uh, three and a half. Three more and years. a half. Well, it's not even a half now because it's our, it's almost March. Three more years, guys. Three more years. Three more so years we would have been here we'll, ten years, and, and then, then we're we'll gonna be, be looking for some place else to go. Where should we go, y'all? Where should we go? Where should we move? Where should we go? Where should we settle? Where should we go? Long term. We're thinking about Florida. Mm. I think traffic here is. The people here hate it. Yeah. Oh my God, this is the worst traffic ever. This is worse. This, it is not. It's just not. They've been their here worst time. traffic is there are a lot of cars on the road going 40 miles an hour. They've been, they've That's been here. That's their a long worst time. traffic. You get a little bumper to bumper. Okay, okay 20 rush miles hour, an hour. Rush hour. Ooh, no. How about sitting in the same place for 10 minutes in yeah. Atlanta? Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. It's nothing. And then it's like between specific times. Mm -hmm. 
So, I mean, I can get downtown Raleigh in 20 minutes during rush hour. It's just mm -hmm. not a big deal. Yeah. On the way back in the evening, it's a little bit different because everybody's trying to get out of the city. But um, I don't have that issue. He commutes about 10 minutes from work because we learned living in Atlanta, we're going to live near our job. <laughs> we're not guaranteed to do that. And we have tons of friends mm -hmm. and coworkers who live in what's called Wake Forest, mm -hmm. which is about 30 minutes yeah. from this area. They have a serious commute. And it's nice. They got beautiful homes. Mm -hmm. The schools are great. Yeah, serious commute. Serious commute. And it's a serious <laughs> commute now because everybody's living here. They don't have health lanes here. No, they don't. It's, the traffic is quote unquote so bad here and they haven't cut up. They let the buses ride on the shoulder. <laughs> So you can sit in your car. It's actually sudden, illegal. It's legal right. for the bus to be rolling on the shoulder next to you. It's, yeah. it's very dangerous. It's very, it's strange. very strange. Very strange. So it's a little, <laughs> it's a little weird. But yeah, the people here hate it. They think it's crazy. <laughs> but there are times Heath and I'll be coming back from a function at night, and we'll be like, "Where is everybody?" Mm -hmm. It's like nobody on on the street on they're the, the bed. highway. They're, they're in the bed. bed. They're in their the house. Community. It's it's boring. Or, or they're out of town. It's absolutely beautiful, great place for a job, like, yeah. great place for your kids, mm -hmm. but it's boring. Yeah, a lot of people have... Uh, Come visit me. A lot Come of... visit me. <laughs> We've been here seven years. A lot seven of, years. A lot of people have uh, maybe a second home at the beach or... Oh, uh, they do. They have mountain lot, they mountain do. cabins. Not us. Right? Not us. We don't have that. We have kids. <laughs> so... What else do um, you want to talk about, baby? I think that's it. Those are, are all the pros and the cons we just talked about. I want to shout out to everybody and just say thank you. Heath and Tracy TV is going strong. We're yeah. having so much fun. Mm -hmm. Share away, comment away, subscribe away. If you haven't visited us on YouTube, our YouTube channel is growing. Heath does his... Um, his uh what does he call it baby you do your I call it one minute word i mean one you know, minute word he little, really is into little, that it's a little upbeat thing i try to do for people man there's so much negativity out here and uh so it's just uh, just my way of bringing some positivity into the world so yeah y'all check me out follow us on instagram yep we got instagram it's all heath and tracy tv yeah like like our page uh, on facebook heath and tracy yep, tv heath and tracy tv we're gonna start doing a weekly uh show on heath and tracy tv every week on facebook we are yep so make sure you, you don't know about that okay i know now so make sure that you like our page heath and tracy tv on facebook and look out for that every week for four, four, four o'clock in the relationship arena. relationships love and marriage yep relationships love and marriage we got you connect to god connect to family and connect to your significant other or your spouse, spouse. we love you so much talk to you soon bye-bye Peace.